Today, a throwback Star Wars unboxing, Ermi Odal. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel as we continue our daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021. And today we've got a special one, one that captured my heart and as I like to say it never let go and I can't wait to open this one up. It's a deep, deep cut and that's Ermi Odal. But for all your modern day Star Wars needs, make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. But back to our pal Hermie Yodel. I guess it's a play on words of Hear Me Yodel is what I've heard in some of my research. I do not quite remember this character from Return of the Jedi, but obviously he's part of Jabba's gang, Jabba's whole uh, group there, and Jabba's palace. Uh, those are some of my favorite characters and some of my favorite figures in the Star Wars universe. As I'm working on all these Star Wars collection, these are the kind of characters I'm really looking for. Some of these deep cut characters, these crazy looking aliens. These are some of my favorite figures in the Star Wars universe. And I imagine this one to be no different. A very big figure for the three and three fourth inch line. A very cool looking figure. Uh, that is, you can't argue it. It looks cool. It looks different. It looks strange. And that's what I'm in for in my Star Wars figures. I love these aliens and I feel you need these just as much as you need some of the other characters in there. You got to flush out that universe and flush out those displays in my case. So let's take a look at the packaging like we always do. We'll read the back. We'll look at the front. We'll open it up. We'll talk about it and all that fun stuff. And it looks like this one comes with a coin. Oh boy. So there you go. Look at that Star Wars up top. Very different packaging. Uh, not your traditional box or you know peg packaging. Different. They took chances. This came out in 2007. So this is uh, 13, 14 years ago. Uh, I don't really remember this packaging style on the shelves very often. Uh, Kmart seemed to have had these a lot back in the day. That's kind of what I remember uh, the best as far as uh, these being on the pegs. But I'm sure they were at Toys R Us, Walmart, Target, everything else. I just remember seeing these at Kmart more often. Uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's you as well. Uh, but very cool artwork right there. You got his name. You got Star Wars, like we said. You got the packaging there. What does it say? Uh, Return of the Jedi. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. He is number 29 in this collection. A very, very solid figure. Uh, a lot of these Star Wars figures aren't extremely expensive. There's a few that are. This is one of the more expensive ones. He goes from anywhere from, you know, $25 to $35 or so. I ended up getting him as a deal. You know me, I gotta get a deal. I always play the long game. I work on some of these older figures. I look every place under the sun and kind of track things for a while to see what the best price is. And then I swoop in and I get it. And that's what I did with old Hermie. All right, now we look at the back packaging there. Very cool, you got the checklist down below of some of the other characters with all the warnings. You got a little glamour shot. You got the movie shot of him looking just crazy. And you got a little blurb. Let's read that blurb on him, see what it says. Hermie Odal is an expert at crafting weapons and helps fortify Jabba's palace against attack from the Hut's many enemies. When Jabba attempts to execute the rebels at the pit of Carcoon, Odal defends the sail barge with a stun weapon. However, he accidentally stuns one of Jabba's skiff guards, thus inadvertently helping the rebels. And it's been a while. It's been a couple years since I've seen The Return of the Jedi. I mean, I watched it a million times as a kid through the teen years. I really want to watch it again. I need to get on that. Uh, my daughter's of the age where it's time for her to check out all the Star Wars movies so she can cross that off her list. She has no interest, but when I force her on the couch to watch every single movie, she'll be interested. Uh, if I have to chain her down, that's what I'll have to do. And you can, if you can believe this or not, my wife has never seen the Star Wars movies. I just can't believe it. I feel like you have to watch them at least once. Um, but I don't recall him in the movie, but apparently they just described the scene he's in. I'm sure once I see it, I'll say, oh yeah. It's just, you know, that Return of the Jedi and the Jabba's Palace, there's so many camera scenes and cuts. There's so many aliens in there. It's like every time you watch it, you see somebody new, which I really do like. And my goal is to get all of these Jabba's Palace people and all that. I'll probably hit up that backdrop guy, get like a Jabba's background or something, and then fit it all together. And that's kind of my plan. Um says, uh, character profile, species, Baragwin. Never heard of that, obviously. Status, skills, weapon specialist. Weapons of choice, the stun weapon. Characteristic, loyal to Jabba the Hutt. I think there's uh, rumors that he's going to star in his own Star Wars trilogy, I think, maybe in the future. Uh, I might be wrong on that. Somebody can spot check me and let me know in the comments if that's right or not. But I think he is going to star in his own Star Wars series. Uh, just a lovable character, uh, protecting Jabba. 
Um, so there you go. Some cool figures on the back here as well. Uh, Upaste, one of the greatest drummers in the galaxy. We talked about him before. I got to open him up still as well. Uh, the Yodo and Yoda, Yodo, Yoda and Kaibuck is a really cool one I picked up fairly recently as well. I like that one a lot. Uh, you got Pre Cyborg Grievous. That's one I, I don't remember anything about his pre Cyborg days. I really need to look into General Grievous' backstory and see his pre Cyborg days because that is a really cool looking figure. I got to research more. But without further ado, it pains me. I really like the looks of this one. I, and you guys know at heart I'm a min on card guy. It's just not possible. With the amount of figures I buy in the collections, I can't keep them all on card. I just couldn't. There's Nobody has a house big enough for that, uh, including me. So we're going to open up old Hermie, even though it hurts me. I wish there was a way to open him up cleaner. I feel better about myself when I open it at least cleanly. Now that'll have to do. Let's pull it out. What do we got here? Uh-oh. Almost lost this. Don't want to lose that. See you later, Hermie. I miss you. It pains my heart. What is this? What is this little pamphlet? Oh, it's an old school checklist. You guys know, longtime viewers of my channel, I appreciate nothing more than a cool checklist. Solicitations. Promote your lines. I say it all the time. I don't care what job you're promoting or what job you work for. Promote, promote, promote. Promote what you do. Very cool. Showing some of the comic packs. And then the guys we just saw. But nonetheless, very cool. I like these kind of things. I appreciate them. I think it's a lost art in the toy world. Now let's check out the old plastic prison. One of my favorite prisons, and the only prison I ever want to be in is the plastic prison. There you go. Uh, we got the Star Wars coin here. Let's see if I can get that out. Maybe. Come on. Jeez. Well, uh, it's more of like a plasticky coin. I was hoping for more of a coin. Baraguan, Hermie Odal. Star Wars, 1977, Return of the Jedi, 1977. Now, I believe if uh, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I believe you could take this coin to like any famous steakhouse in the United States. Uh, I think only the United States, but you can take it to like a Peter Luger's or an 801 Grand or even a Fleming's, I've heard of. That's a chain. But uh, one of those fancy steak places, any one, you can go walk in and you can get seated immediately if you show this coin out of your pocket. And then you put this down on the table and your meal is free. Uh, it's just part of the Hermiotal uh, Society. I've heard that. I haven't tried it. And now that I have this coin, I think tonight I will go to a fancy steak place. And I'll see if I can uh, get the old Hermie special. Uh, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm fairly certain that is correct. But uh, let's open up old Hermie up. Let's get his staff out first before I get too deep into this he's taped in here come on and you know, they put a lot of care into these toys I don't want to break it nothing worse than breaking a weapon right out of there so there it is there's his old staff uh, very similar to some of the other staffs I think Jabba sail guards had it as well so a little little note there now how do I get him out of this packaging I guess you just pull him out very easily there it is see you later up high Ooh. All right, got a little rubber band there. Get that off. Got another one down on his foot. I mean, he's really locked in, but, you know, I always talk about it. We appreciate the locked in. There it is. So an interesting figure in the 3 and 3 four scale. Big figure. His mouth moves, which is cool. He's got the soft goods robe. There's a, this is a figure that's worth its money. Uh, it's worth the money for it. With the soft goods, the weapon... Uh, very Jim Henson inspired, as I believe Jim Henson did help with the Star Wars movies. But this reminds me of something you would see in like uh, one of the Muppets or Fraggle Rock or something along them lines, you know? Uh, just what it reminds me of. Uh, but I do like this figure a lot. It's just what I like in Star Wars. Figures that are look strange, look different. Uh, definitely a conversation piece if somebody sees this on your shelf. Uh, the mouth moves, the head moves, the arms move. Uh, for the three and three force articulated line, this one has a lot of character to it and is a real slam dunk and easily one of my favorite figures uh, in this universe. I can't wait till I get the rest of my Jabba's guys. It's tough finding checklists on some of this. I, I guess I shouldn't say it's tough finding checklists. It's just a heck of a lot of work uh, trying to track down a lot of these figures. Uh, you guys know I like to buy big lots at once. You save money. You can pick and choose. Get them all in one fell swoop. Pay shipping once instead of nickel and diming on a lot of shippings. Um, but this Hermie, I couldn't wait for a lot. I had to get after this one. This one looks so unique, so different. Uh, I had to get this one right away. If I get another one, that'd be a little nice little coupon ski down the road. I can trade it for something else or what have you. But 
Very, very solid figure. Highly recommended. I'm sure I've slept on this one for 14, 15 years, or some of you guys out there have had this since day one, and I applaud people like you that got after it day one. 2007, I just wasn't quite into Star Wars figures. Uh, it was part of my Star Wars figure break, I guess you would call it. Uh, and then I moved into the 6-inch scale when those started up. That's when I said, hey, I'm back into Star Wars. They're in 6-inch scale now. Uh, but there's a lot of character and a lot of cool 3-and-3 three three Force figures uh, from the 2000s that a lot of people slept on, myself included, that are worth a second trip, a second visit, uh, checking those out. So uh, I recommend you guys do that as well. So there you go. That's our daily Star Wars unboxing today. Follow me along on uh, social media, Instagram, D underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, Twitter, at SirPaul64. Of course, follow me on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the old like button. Support the channel. Give me your comment and your thoughts on old Hermie Yodel. And for Hermie Yodel, I'm Kyle Yodel. I'll see you guys all real soon. I got to get this credit. And I got to go get myself a fancy steak tonight. See you guys later.